Hello, and welcome to another Long Clippings video by Lawn Fun. Today we are introducing our new set, Sharp Backdrops. I just love this set because it's great for covering card bases or adding texture to die cuts, or even just using them as one strip. There's so many fun things you can do, so we're gonna stamp them out and see how they work. I wanted to show you guys, just like all of our other backdrop sets, that they more than cover a standard size card, which is five and a half inches by four and a quarter inches. I just wanted to show you real fast. So you can see here, when you are to stamp it, it's gonna cover each side. So you don't have to stamp it and then stamp it again to try to cover the card. It covers the whole thing, which is really awesome and makes for some easy card making. Another thing that's really great is we have these two by eight blocks. Uh, these Lawn Fawn blocks here that work so well with these backdrops and it's got the cute little Lawn Fawn logo there um, and they're they're really awesome and I just wanted to show you because it has these grips they're really easy to hold and then this is how I like to pick the stamp up so I put it down on my work surface just like this to make sure that way it's going to lay straight and then I'm going to take that top line of my block and line it up with the top of the stamp and this way I know the, the stamp is going to be straight on my block and that's going to help me line it up. So it's, I think it's a really easy way, especially me, I'm lining up deficient. It helps me get everything straight on my project. I just love these fun triangles and arrows. They're super trendy and really, really cool. And they've still got that little lawn fawn wonky spin to them. And they actually all come from patterns from our Daphne's Closet paper. But it's really fun because you can use the pattern paper and you can create your own custom patterns in the perfect color for your project. I really love this one. I think it looks really great, kind of stamped out in a really subtle way on the background of a project. Really awesome. Here are these arrows. I love them. They look awesome stamped straight like this. They look really great stamped on the diagonal. You can even cut the little arrows out and use them on the projects too. Really fun. I just love them so much. <laughs> And here we have the last arrows in this, or triangles, excuse me, in this set. And I really love these because they're so tiny that they really look great on kind of smaller things, like if you were stamping on a smaller circle or something, just to add some texture. They look really great, they're really fun. So it's pretty cool all of the different backgrounds that you can get. And this is covering a whole card base, but you could cover die cuts, you know, different chipboard pieces. I mean, anything that you can think of an entire layout, um, just use a strip of it. There's a lot that you can do, but I think it's kind of fun to see them all stand out on a standard size card base to see how it fits on them. And then of course, to see this fun diagonal idea too, which looks really cool, especially with these arrows. It's my favorite way to stamp them out. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a card with some of these backdrops. I'm lining up my triangles here, and I'm gonna stamp them using Versamark ink onto this beautiful charcoal cardstock. Uh, with the Versamark, it's gonna stand out enough, but still be subtle. Sorry for my head in the way there. I like to get right over the project and make sure that I'm lining everything up. And I'm stamping over the edge a little bit so that the pattern's really continuous at the top, too. And you could always cover the back also. That could be kind of a fun little thing if you turn the card around and there was still some triangles back there. When I line these up, I always have to put them closer to the previous stamped image than I would think, and then it lines up perfectly. So that's kind of a little tip when you're trying to line these up, is stamp it closer than you would think, and then it's gonna turn out perfectly. Now I'm gonna stamp my arrows on this little turquoise piece here, and I'm gonna stamp them diagonally. So I stamp the first one, and I put it at a 45 degree angle, and then it's really easy to line it up after that. Another way to do this would be to turn the paper at a 45 degree angle and then stamp with the stamp straight. And you can practice at home and kind of see which way is easier for you. For me, keeping the paper straight and turning the stamp makes it so that I can line it up easier. I just love how these diagonal arrows look. I really think that it adds, this tone on tone look really adds pizzazz to a plain piece of cardstock. Next, I'm using Versamark again to stamp that same triangle pattern because this piece is gonna show through my die cut and I wanted to have the same pattern as the card base to tie them all together. Right here, I'm creating a flat banner by cutting a little notch down the middle and then connecting the end point to the top of that cut line and that'll create a perfect banner every time, which is awesome. <laughs> I love creating these little banners. I think it just adds a little flair. 
I'm now using our hearts dies. I just love these hearts. Um, and I'm going to line it up here on this little panel. And I'm going to use some low tack tape to hold it down. I was just kind of deciding where I thought it would might look the nicest. And then that tape will hold it, it perfectly in place so I can use the negative space of the die cut. So you'll see there I'm left with the opening. And the cool thing is I also have the heart die cut with the arrows. And I can save that for a later project because that's really adorable. <laughs> Right here, I'm using the Miss You sentiment from our So Much To Say stamp set. And I thought that would be kind of cute with the colors. I thought it kind of matched. So I'm using some charcoal ink to go along with my charcoal backdrop and bring that color back in. And now I'm putting some foam adhesive there all around the heart. And I'm going to line it up over that pink coral piece, just like that. And so that way I can choose the perfect part of the pattern that will look the nicest under the heart. And then I'll add the rest of my foam adhesive so that I can adhere it down on my card. And I just love how it looks. It's really modern and really fun. So that is Sharp Backdrops. It's the next installment in our backdrop series. Really fun, trendy arrows and triangles. They're longer than the standard size card, so they're really easy to line up. And you can do cool things like stamp them diagonally too. They're really fun for covering small panels or die cut pieces or entire cards too. And here you can see all the panels covering uh, all of the patterns covering all of these different standard size card panels. It's just so much fun and we cannot wait to see what you guys do with them. There's so many cool techniques and stuff I know you're going to do which are going to be awesome. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have an amazing day. Bye!